What's going on, everybody? Uh, just wanted to give you guys a hey, what's up? And um, today I will not be doing an update. Well, I can of my garage, but I wanted to do a public service announcement. So today kind of pisses me off. It irritates me really bad. I'm sure everybody who follows me also agrees. The ones that don't, hey, that's your choice, right? So I go to Home Depot today, and this happens a lot. I don't know how it happens so often. I go into Home Depot today, pick up an order that was for pickup, right? And I wanted to... So I'm going in to pick up my items, and I pull into this parking lot, and I see one of the employees standing outside holding her phone, pointing at two goofballs running to their car with some boxes. First thing that pops in mind, they're stealing shit, right? Yes, they are stealing stuff. And the employees cannot do anything about it, right? And this is just, this is not just tools. This is always, I've seen this happen in the iPhone, uh, Apple stores. I see this happening probably like every store that you guys shop at. I'm sure there's theft, right? There's always theft. For you to physically see it, right, is one thing. To hear everybody be like, oh, it's a shame. But, but here's the thing, right? So when people steal stuff, right, it affects every one of us. So the biggest thing is prices go up on everything we already have massive amount of issues with pricing right now everything has doubled <clears throat> excuse me everything has doubled so lumber right cost of lumber is insane um cost of tools cost of batteries cost of tires cost of gas cost of uh living everything you do has increased way beyond it should be it's just get to the point where everybody's getting pissed off i understand your quick solution is to go steal it right because you deserve yourself something you work hard for right now so you you work your butt off to go buy stuff the ones that steal are the ones that are hurting everybody else you don't really see it because you don't care you're careless right we in in this tool community that i'm in we legitimately go look for deals, right? We're doing this as, as like, we're, we're like detectives looking for something, right? You find something, you go over there. Sometimes a store puts a price on an item and we go, they screwed up, but we're jumping on the deal, right? We're not stealing. We're just taking advantage of that billion dollar company that spends billions of dollars advertising they screwed up on the advertising we're taking advantage of it we get the guilty look like no that was an error uh, we shouldn't have put that there but yet we get hurt for it because this is this is kind of on topic i'm not trying to merge the two and say that what i'm doing is right but it's not stealing. I am not stealing. I am willing to pay for an item. And I'm not going to pay full price, obviously, right? But what I am trying to say is this has constantly been... Since I've been in this tool community, I have noticed that if I'm trying to get a deal on something, I get shamed. But yet the person who is actually stealing gets to walk out to the store with stuff. And they don't have... There's no... There's no recoil for it, right? You you watch someone, you're like, you're watching the person walk away. <laughs> They're gone with products. See, this item right here, they just walk, they just grab it off the shelf. They go, oh, I'm just going to go, bye. You know, like, I just got a free tool, walked away, right? First of all, that's embarrassing because if someone sees you doing it, they know like, wow, that's pretty pathetic. They don't give a care. They don't care. They don't care. But it bothers us, right? We're the ones that are going out, spending money. Everything in this garage has been paid for by me, right? <laughs> Nobody else has paid for this. My debt has. I'm paying my debt, and I'm paying more than I should have. So whatever that tool costs, say it costs 100 bucks, and it really was $200. I paid half price, right? I'm still paying for that tool because I paid. That was my choice, right? That was my. But I paid for it. 
That's what I'm trying to say. I spent time. I spent my my gas money, my travel. I took time out of my day to go get that tool. So if I sell it or not, it doesn't matter, right? That's my choice, whatever I do. However it happens, that was paid for, right? Legitimately paid for. And it was off the shelf. I went to the register. I paid for it, right? That's not stealing. That's buying something. Stealing is you grab something and you walk outside and you feel good about doing it. You don't care, right? You you have no respect for anybody but yourself. You don't even have respect for yourself. Um, who knows? Maybe you just run into some b dumb luck, whatever. There is no excuse for doing that. The, the biggest problem I have is with these big companies that don't do anything about it, right? We get punished. This is just going to be like a crazy topic. But we get punished for trying to get deals from these companies. I'm, I'm trying to see if you guys follow with me here. Uh, we get punished. If, if I see a battery and it's a $200 battery and I see it for 25 bucks, and I jump on that price and I get it, right? And I just hope that they give it to me for that price. I go to the register. So, okay, here, let's do a penny deal. So, okay, that's that's actually really easy to do. Okay, penny deals. Usually, you've seen me on, on my channel. I've done it before. So, say you find an item that has been discontinued and they no longer carry it. They start dropping the prices down, right? And then it gets to the point where it's so cheap that they're giving it away for a penny, right? This is just for them to clearance it out and they know when it hits that price that they're supposed to pull it off the shelf, right? But sometimes they don't do their job. And those items still sit on the shelf, and that's why there's a penny item. that I picked up, like, probably once a month I get a penny item. That's because I'm always looking around and I kind of know the deal. But, again, I'm not stealing these items. I know what to look for, and I grab them. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, right? But we get irritated because we don't walk out with that penny item. But I will pay that penny item, right? <laughs> the store, on the other hand cries and tells me they cannot sell it to me for a penny because it rings up as a penny and they're supposed to pull it well they didn't do their job right we've had this discussion with a couple of guys in this in this channel um they they we we kind of like we have to stick our grounds we have to be like hey for okay for an item as if it was not stolen right if the item rings up as a penny I literally go to the register. I ringed it up. It shows up one cent. All right. <laughs> I paid the one cent. I'm paying for it. <laughs> I'm not stealing it. <laughs> whatever the price is. Okay. Say it was 10, 20 bucks, whatever. Even a hundred bucks, whatever. I don't care. I'm just giving you an, a, a dollar amount. I, I did not. I, I don't feel guilty buying those items because I feel like I did something that they should have been doing and I'm reaping the benefits of it by getting it for that penny price right so that's what the tool community is kind of looking for look as far as the deals the tool community actually look for tools <laughs> but um i'm just trying to give you guys an idea of some of this stuff but there's a whole nother world to this but i'm just trying to open you guys up to the part there is no consequences for people who steal, but there's consequences for the guys who are not stealing and paying, right? We get punished. I don't know how many people that I've heard, mostly in the group, um, that have been banned from purchasing items from Lowe's, right? Because they're blacklisted all of a sudden. And then there's a couple guys that get like red X's on their names because they hacked some of the tool deals to get prices lower which they allow this is a normal thing if you do too many you get too many red x's next to your name and you get i don't know if you're going to get punished or not but you just you're getting marked on their books but they're allowing you to do this legally it's not like you're breaking the law or anything this is a legitimate business what they they give you the option this is what you do right but we're not stealing. I'm trying to get that through your head. <laughs> I don't know if it's your head or my head. But the, the, the point is, I am not stealing. I'm paying for these items. And 
And for these companies, again, they spend billions of dollars advertising and they screw up on some of the, like, we're looking at the reading or, you know, like, say, uh, this was a Milwaukee saw and it comes with batteries and it's 200 bucks, but usually just the batteries are on or 200 bucks and you go, that's not right. Like we know what that tool is supposed to cost with batteries and somebody screwed up, but we're jumping on that deal and we're, we're taking advantage of that. Right. But the store goes, you cannot have that. We did something wrong. <laughs> it's a glitch, but you go, no, you're advertising. You spent money you paid some person in your payroll department to physically write this deal <laughs> in your system somebody else had to approve it <laughs> but yet they got past all that stuff i saw it on the internet i purchased it i go take my time out to go drive to the store or i had it shipped to my house whatever i spent my time and and got all excited that I was going to get something only for that store to go, no, you can't have it. But the person stealing can't have it for free and walk out the store and come back tomorrow and do it all over again. So you're pushing people to, to not want to pay for items, but yet you're okaying people to steal your stuff. This is... This is the problem with this country. I don't know if it's America, the United States. I'm in California. This is California's got other issues. But I wanted you guys to hear my rant for the city. So that's my public service announcement to you guys. Thank you for watching.